What's up guys, I am back with another awesome Mafia City video and every time when I think that I cannot make crazy progress like this, the next month I make even more crazier progress and this is happening since past 3 months guys and it's again happening. I have broke all my target that I have made in my previous stats update video. So as you can guess, this is a stats update video and I am really really excited to show all of you my stats how much progress I have made everything guys in my stats is changed and it's really awesome how much progress I have made gold rush really helped me in this and I think gold rush is a really awesome event if you can really play it properly if you really utilize it and because of guys this I have made even more crazier progress this time and gold rush really helped me to make this kind of progress and I'm really excited to show you all what improvement I have done because this is the best stats update video ever and we are on next level now guys next level so before i show you my current stats i just want to show you my stats one month ago if you haven't watched my previous stats update video i really recommend you to watch that come back to this video but still i'm going to show you my stats just one month ago and it's going to be even more better when you're going to see my current stats just take a look at my stats one month ago this battle report is just one day after i recorded my previous stats update video that is october 12th and let's just take a look at my stats keep in mind guys these two vigilante that i'm using in my battle report one month ago i'm still using them and that's why you are going to see some crazy difference so in my previous stats update video i was using wayne with corner but this time i'm using ethan with corner i'm still using ethan with corner so it's going to be even better when we are going to compare our stats from previous month faster we are going to take a look at of my stats one month ago bulker attack 419 defense 437 health 186 in my previous stats update video my health was 196 it was because i was using wayne with corner that's why my health was 196 but now it's 186 with corner and ethan this time i also want you to focus on my biker stats because something very big is coming in future so let's take a look at my biker stat. This is with all of my shooter equipment. My biker attack was completely trash and that's why I made a video this past month talking about that. I need to improve my biker stats. And I just did not say this guy. I just did not make this video randomly. I have to work on my biker stats and I am really excited to show you a little bit of the progress on my biker set. Not all because... I'm going to show you those biker stats in a separate video. It's going to be even better for a lot of bikers player because guys, I want to help both biker and shooter player, both of them. But for now, in this video, we are just going to talk about shooter stat, but you can just notice my biker stat. It's going to be helping you to guess how much improvement I have made in my biker stats overall. Take a look at my biker stats. Now let's move on to my shooter attack. 747% shooter attack, defense 505, health 166, damage 97 so this is my stats with 20 percent buff one month ago time for the surprise guys so before i move to show you my battle report i'm going to show you that i am on 20 percent attack bonus 20 percent defense bonus so there is nothing crazy going on this is my simple buff that i use in my every stats update video so now it's time for me to show you a battle report just 25 minutes ago and i'm going to put my battle report one month ago next to this so it will be easier for you to compare my stats and you can just see how much crazy progress i have made so the vigilante that i am using is ethan and connor same vigilante that i was using in my previous month stats update video actually I was using Wayne with Connor, but then I immediately switched to Ethan and Connor. I think 10% crew health is good, but I think I need that shooter attack. And I think my health was pretty good, so I just don't need Wayne anymore. That's why I switched to Ethan. So my bulker attack is 456%, bulker defense is 476%, bulker health is 197%. So if you remember what target I have set in my previous stats video, you will be like shocked that I have broke all of them in terms of my bulker stats. And I have surpassed them because I have made no target about my health. But I have improved my health by 10% and I am not even using Wayne. If I am going to use Wayne with Ethan, my health will be above 200%. 207 exactly, I will have my bulker health. And that's what crazy about this guys. That This is crazy progress. I am near 500% bulker defense. That's the really my goal for now. That 
improve my bulkhead device because it's completely trash i have improved it a lot but i still have a lot of work to do i'm really excited for this so this is my bulkhead stats now let's take a look at my biker stats guys biker keep in mind guys i'm not using my biker equipment in this but still take a look at my biker and compare it to previous month how much progress i have made 388% biker attack defense 392% health 122 percent this is my biker set i'm not going to talk a lot about this you can just remember this because it's going to be helping you in my future stats update video let's take a look at my shooter attack shooter attack is 798 percent and defense is 544 percent health is 180 percent and damage is 98 percent so just see guys how much crazy progress i have made i have increased my shooter attack more than 50 percent that's how much i have improved my shooter attack not just that guys i also improved my shooter defense i also improved my shooter health and i also improved my shooter damage all these things i have improved since my previous stats update video i have broke all the target whatever i have set and it's just guys crazy and not only this we have already break 800 percent shooter attack wall guys we are above 800 percent shooter attack and you're going to say you are 798 percent shooter attack i was long time ago 800 percent shooter attack everything else was trash and i have made video about this everything else was complete trash my bulker health was 126 percent with 800 percent shooter attack that was crazy weak. and this time we have done 800 shooter attack right because this time i am a strong 800 percent shooter attack player not a weak one that's really what i wanted and i waited for this and now we are above 800 percent shooter attack you know why i'm going to show you a battle report with my secondary vigilante so this is going to be with izumi and ethan and we are going to take a look at my shooter attack it's 815 percent shooter attack the only reason i'm using corner is because of the 10 percent shooter damage 10 000 percent crime ops capacity later i'm going to make him five stars so i'm going to also get 10 percent crew health corner is going to be even more better and everything else stayed same everything else is stay staying same my defense health everything is same the only thing that is going to change is my attack and now i'm 815 percent shooter attack so road to 900 percent shooter attack is already begun and this time we have done it right i will not say the strongest 800 percent shooter attack but we are very decent above average close to a very strong 800 percent shooter attack i'm really proud of this because i just did not chase those attack that a lot of players just chased like i just want to get 800 percent 900 percent shooter or biker attack and everything else is just trash and when a 700 percent very balanced player can just beat you so much easily and then you can just not understand why because you say i am 1000 stats player and this game is so much broke how he beat me because his every other stats is better than you that's why i have done this and road to 900 guys finally begin i am very proud to say this and we are getting near that 1000 percent shooter attack 1000 percent shooter attack and i'm still elite one this make me sometimes just think that i can be 1000 percent shooter attack with elite one how cool is that and we are doing this guys without spending that's the biggest thing that's the biggest obstacle if i am allowed to spend in this account guys i will be 1000 stats player in one month easy for me I have a lot of things that I can do but I am restricting myself just so that I can help other player to do the same because 90% of the player in this game guys are mid low to medium spender and I really want to help them after I reach 1000 shooter attack I am not sure what I am going to continue same I think I will try to get as high as possible but for now this was my goal and I want to tell people that it's possible you can get 1000 stats without spending and i think we can really get 1000 stats without spending we are near 185 percent shooter attack more we needed in order to touch that 1000 shooter attack so not so much far guys compared to six months ago we were like barely 400 percent shooter attack with 110 percent bulker health we have come a long way and i'm just very very excited to share with you all my progress and you can see the stuff what i did in order to improve my stats another thing that i'm going to show you is my third mask that i'm going to use in my mansion so these two vigilante is going to be in my mansion that is going to be doing work when somebody is going to attack my mansion so this is my you can say backup march whatever you can say so this is my stats with wayne and izumi it's very good guys 190 percent shooter health 785 shooter attack 207 bulker health 
vigilant that i am using inside my mansion so this will be my stats with them i just think to show you this as well so now let's talk about what we have done in order to improve this much first thing is going to be very obvious that we have done is that vigilante training room this guys helped me a lot it helped me to increase my bulker health by five percent i have improved my bulker health in one month like 11 or 12 percent something five percent was from this and it's also helped me to improve my shooter health by five percent and shooter defense by 10%. Now I am on the second one and I will try to improve my increased damage stats of continual blast skill. And after this, I think it's going to be shooter damage. I want to get that shooter damage above 100%. I am going to try this next month. So you can just write this in advance. My, the target for the next month is going to be 100% shooter damage. Vigilante training room guys helped me to improve my stats for sure. Without this, I don't think I would have made this crazy progress, but I think it will be less, but I still think it will be crazy for sure. This is my vigilante training room. Nothing I have done in biker section for now. Oopsie. Other thing guys that I have done is back to the basics. I have completed this shooter health investment in crew capability. This was like one or two percent. I have taken it to seven percent and now I'm trying to do this bulker health. It's required a lot of cash. I'm trying to collect as much cash as possible. Probably by next month, you are going to see this investment completed and I'm going to improve my bulker health more by 7%. So the goal for the next month video is going to be huge guys, huge, because I already know what I need to do and I think I can do this for sure. So this is a back to basic investment because I was really ignoring them. I was just thinking that these require a lot of resources. I can just do other stuff. I was just being lazy. It's long that we have ignored this. Now let's start doing this investment. So next month I will complete this Polkar one. Then we will try to do some defense investment because I want to get that 600% shooter defense and 500% Polkar defense. So another thing that I have done is to do investment in Renegade section. With this guys, I also completed this Polkar health investment in Renegade. This was guys also not completed. So I completed this one too. I think it was like nine or eight percent so two more percent i have done i have used a lot of resources this month and the thing that helped me guys is that you can change your cold rush resource for normal resource so that helped me a lot in terms of doing a lot of investment and what i'm trying to do is guys get this armor skill it's really going to help me if somebody is going to attack my mansion this is a renegade skill that i want to unlock it's still locked i am lacking in this investment because i see a lot of player already have this and when i'm attacking them i'm getting less renegade kills so that's what I'm trying to do right now. Probably by next month, I will unlock this. So that's the one more thing that I'm trying to do. There is a lot of things, guys, a lot of things. And in this time, I'm also trying to collect resource for upgrading my mansion. I have a separate farm, guys, that I'm not trying to take resource from it. I'm going to take when it have enough resources for me to upgrade my mansion. That's, I'm not touching it at all for now. Another thing, I'm trying to collect resource as fast as possible so I can keep doing investment. Because investment is the key, guys, for players who doesn't really spending a lot and want to increase their stats investment is the key now let's talk about equipment guys again i have changed some emblem and stuff i don't really remember what i have changed in emblem i was just like laying in my bed at night and i see that my emblems and i think that i can improve them and i improve and i forget to record them but i have done something in emblem too guys that helped me to improve my shooter attack i think because in my equipment like level 40 accessory and some of them emblem guys was with my shooter attack with biker attack so what i was trying to do is to change them with only shooter stats or shooter and bulker stats that's why what i have done a little bit tweak in my emblems now let's take a look at my development for t11 shooter so you can see i am at 17 percent already in this and we are getting near to that T11 shooter. It's going to change the game completely. And I think I'm doing really good. I think I will be having T11 shooter after five to six months more. And I'm going to have T11 shooter with Elite 5. So that's the update on my T11 shooter stuff. Now let's talk about what I did in my Hitman investment. So this is the investment that I'm trying to do. It's in combat service. And I'm trying to get that 7% shooter damage in the end that's why i say that i will try to get 100 plus percent shooter damage let's see if i can get or not but i think i can so that's what i'm doing in my hitman section i'm trying to get that damage also i'm going to get six percent of more shooter health from this 
probably by next month because i have done already one percent so this is also going to improve my shooter health i want my shooter health to be 200 percent with 200 percent bulker health and this was completely undone in my so i have done this shooter attack investment in this so that helped me to improve my shooter attack by 10 percent and combined with some emblems change i was able to get my shooter attack by 50 percent i think i've changed some other thing as well this was completely undone previously i have used a lot of speed up a lot of resource in order to get that 10 percent shooter attack and i will try to get that seven percent shooter damage that's why i think i will be able to be 100 percent shooter damage for sure and it's also going to increase my shooter health by seven percent I think 6% because I already increased 1%. So I will be 100% shooter damage. With, I will try to be 200% shooter health with 200% bulker health. We only need 3% more for 200% bulker health. And now road to 900% shooter is begin. We are 815% shooter attack. So we are already doing really well. We are very near to 900% shooter attack. So this is the thing that I am going to do next. And I this is the thing that I have done in order to improve my shooter attack by 10% combined it with some emblem change and apart from this i have done some season mastery investment let's take a look at them i cannot just take a look at them right now because i am not in season mastery map let's just quickly go in the season map need to heal my wounded okay i heal going to cost me one teleport but whatever so now let's take a look at my season mastery so this is the one guys it's also helped me to improve my shooter attack by 10 percent this was not done so combine this season mastery investment with my normal investment emblem change and the hitman investment all of this combined helped me to increase my shooter attack by 50 percent so that's all of the things that i have done to improve my shooter stats now let's talk about what i'm going to do next i'm going to keep it quick because we already have a very long video i just don't want to bore you but i think these kind of videos are very important because it's going to help you a lot to improve your stats especially if you are just starting and thinking what i need to do that's why i made this whole series guys not only it's going to help me it's also helping a lot of players the goal for the next month is going to be 200 percent shooter health i know i'm trying to jump a lot but let's see if we can try to do or not because last three months it is exactly opposite i was trying to make some small goals or small targets and i was just completely clearing them so much easily i think this time i need to set bar a little bit more higher so the goal will be 200% shooter health, 800 plus percent shooter attack with Ethan and Connor, 200% bulker health and we will try to get that bulker defense to 490% minimum, we'll try to get it to 500% but minimum what I want is 490% bulker defense and bulker attack I think let's just not talk about this for now, defense is more important for me right now. So that will be the goal for me and yeah one more thing that I forget to add is 100% shooter damage that's the that's the goal for the next month guys write it down make sure to comment in the comment section below if you have any kind of question make your goal for the next month to write in this video what you really want to improve if you are really shy to show your stats or not talk about just write it somewhere else don't just comment in the video comment something else no problem coming back to my next stats update video is going to remind you what you need to done and that is going to help you to improve your stats even more Trust me guys, this strategy doesn't really look cool, but it's very simple, but it's helped out a lot. It's just like a workout strategy when you just record all your workout. I have a habit to write down what exercise I have done, how much weight I have lifted, and I was trying to beat that record. Next week, it's called progressive overload in scientific language. That's where I get this idea. So you can just write it down somewhere what you want to improve. So that is the stats update video, a very long video, but a very important one. So if you have any kind of question, let me know in the comment section below. Like the video, guys. I'm talking for more than 20 minutes non-stop. So make sure to like this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. A lot of Mafia City videos on my channel that is going to help you out. A lot of Mafia City videos that is going to come in future. So subscribe to the channel. Turn on bell icon notification. Like video. Share with all of your friends. And I'll see you on another one. Until then, take care. Stay safe and peace.